Turn your base up. Front knob. This? Yeah, all the way up. And all the way up. I don't even know if I turn it the right way. There you go. We gotta, inter I gotta introduce us. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. All my drumming sisters. I'm Queenie, and this is my husband, Dan. And he's gonna teach us how to play bass for drumios. Okay. Start with the, hey, that's the E string, that's the big one. So put your thumb up on the pickup. That's the pickup. Put your thumb on that. Okay. Relax. This is the E string? Yep. Alright. You like that. Bring it up. Put your thumb up on it. There you go. Oh, okay. Now fuck it. And hit it again. Hit it to stop it. Use every other finger. What do you mean? Back and forth, like you're walking. Oh. And do I stop with the finger I plucked or the next one? No, the finger? next one. Okay. Did I push it all the way down to Look the Look at my wood? fingers. You're like... Alright, so I straighten out. them out here? Okay. Put your thumb wherever you want. Have to oh, I left my pickup. thumb. Okay. Well, alright. So, maybe up a little higher. What? See how I'm hitting this? Hit the wood? Yeah. Go straight down. Okay. Oh, alright. Put my little feet on the ground. Yeah. Like you're walking. <laughs> you can also have this hand up here, this way, and when if you hit a note, you can go, you can quiet it that way too. Bomb, bomb. Don't, don't, no, just touch it. You don't want it to go down to the. Barely touch it. Just no, that no, one string. Not so hard. No, not so hard. Barely touch it. Just do right. it stops. Yeah. No, you're pushing it too hard. Not so hard. Just <laughs> it touch didn't it. feel hard, okay. With how many fingers? Doesn't matter. You're just stopping it from ringing. I like the other way better. Okay, just stop with your finger. You're gonna have to learn both ways. Okay. Well, it's good to know that, I guess. Oops. Way down here. You won't push so easy. Oh, oh. Easier. Just barely. There's something to practice right there. That's Jaws. That's your bass drum foot. Okay. There you go. Oh, Lucy. Yep. We'll try the next string. And then where do my fingers go? They can't hit the wood. It, it's the next string. Like that? Yep.
That's like a quarter note. If you want to make it shorter, you have to. If you want a short note, if you want a long note, you don't do it at all. You stop it when you want. Okay. By short ones. A slow. I'll get my next finger there quicker. Yeah, this, this, this so it stops quite faster. Yeah. If you want a short note. Short ones, long ones. Sounds good. Hey, look Before at me, I'm playing bass. Uh, <laughs> now try. Hit that, and then you go. You pull that right back to get ready. string. Well, should we go all, through all four strings today? Okay. Let's go through all four strings. So E, A, D, D, and G. G. They're all four steps up. E, F, G, A, G. A, B, C, D. Right. E, e A, D, G. Mm -hmm. right, we did E and A. E, A, D, G. Every animal does good. Okay. <laughs> Try a D, a straight or a shuffle, either one. Oops. Oh, forgot. Up to, yeah. So as you move down the strings, your thumb might have to change. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. I was way up here well, like this. You can have it close. You have to have it down at the tip of you. Wherever it's comfortable for you. Yeah, I'll you want, work it out. You don't want it to have it hanging. You can and have it hanging loose, but it's harder to find the strings. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay. You want an anchor point. string or wherever yeah put it. or leave it up on the pickup I'll have to work it out find out what's comfortable for you Shuffle again. Let's try the shuffle on this. Touch them. Easy. Well, there's the 
plucking, finger plucking technique. Okay. Like the big E string. Follow the, uh, the dots. All right, let's not give them too much in the first lesson. We'll just use the first first dot. All right. That's it. Show that's them the dots. Up there. Third fret. There's, isn't, there's the first dot. Oh, yeah. A lot of guitars don't have a dot there. But okay. The so third fret. The third fret. So the frets are the lines, right? Mm-hmm. One, One, two, three. You put your finger between them. So you're going to bring your hand this way. Okay. And just squish it. There's a G note. Just that one... Just, just the, the one string. Just the E. Yeah, now it's a G. Now it's a G. Pushing hard enough is going to buzz. Yeah, you want to be up close to there. If you're way back here, it's probably going to buzz a bunch. You're, oh. you're not getting much pressure on there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So you want to be oh, okay. near that. Yeah. All right, I was looking at but the dot. But not on top of it. I was it. looking at the yeah. dot. So the dot's between the frets, really. Yeah, it doesn't need to be on them. Just okay. Like that sounds better. Yeah. Then take it off. Back. Two and three and four and one. Take it off. Again. Three and four and one. Every time one switch back and forth. Try that. Every time you say one. Okay. One. Are we starting open? Doesn't matter. I'll start open. Okay. One and two and three. with your thumb like a pincher. Okay. So the thumb's behind the guitar. And you're using the straighten your thumb out. Okay. Oh like straighten that. it out. Now have your have this part face down instead of in the back. You wanna go like this? Yeah. And pull oh, this okay. over so you can reach. You don't want it way out here. Okay, so this you want is it over here. Alright. So it's like everything's straight up and down. Your thumb's oh, straight okay. up and down, right okay. in the middle. Okay. And your wrist is out of here so you can reach. All right. Your all elbow's right. out of here. They, they could all, it's like a 90 degree that way, 90 degree this way. It's not like this or like that or like that. Okay. It's nice and straight. All right. And it's okay if your fingers runs into the other strings a little bit. Because you're only playing one at a time, you don't have to just hit that one. Okay. As long as you push it. See, you're kind of like that. What? <laughs> Instead of, I'm coming around too far. Push there. Yeah. It comes from your th your thumb is pushing against your finger, not your hand squishing it. Oh, okay. All right. To, All right. The way it comes off and off real easy. So, spin your body this way, spin the guitar that way, okay. spin your hand this way. There you go. Okay. And bring your whole hand down. There you go. You're way out like that. All right. Then it'll be easier.
keep perfect rhythm. But... Okay. Well, drummers have perfect rhythm, Dan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you don't need to tap your foot now. No, I'm sure it would be helpful, but i got enough to think about right at the moment. Okay. I'll so try... you promised a song. I'll try to go. Okay. Was there something you wanted to teach before? we got to keep we'll it use the two easy open and strings. simple. Well, let's try a... I'm assuming you all have never done any of this before, so we're starting real basic. where you hit the oh. snare drum. I mean, I understand it. I felt it. I understood it from my drumming. Well, since these are open and they're the same, uh -huh. you can put that anywhere. You can do it. Now we're playing the same song in G. Because this is like a fret here. Okay. So if it's, if it's the same distance from this note to that note, then it's the same distance from that note to that note. You can do it anywhere. For yourself, do that. Then, then, then move up to the first fret and do it a, time, a few times. Then move up another fret. Then move up another fret. Is that whatever finger you want?
Okay, that's so enough for today. You can practice up and down. We've got to get all our coordination together. All right. Fingering. Hope and you enjoyed lesson one. Thanks, guys. Come back again. It's going to get harder. Keep them cards and letters coming.